Hey Roses, it's Sugar Rose Studios, and today we're going to be doing another craft with me video. And this craft with me video is also going to include a little haul from Michaels, as well as like a little bit of a fan mail unboxing. So it's going to be action packed, you guys. So, <laughs> current disaster on my desk right now, which if you didn't know already, I work in disaster basically all the time. So, I got a ton more of these. Vallejo, which I'm totally pronouncing wrong, but um, airbrush paint, it's, I, yeah, probably saying it wrong, but anyway, I got a bunch more of them, and oh my god, they are so expensive, like, so expensive, so, but, you know, it's worth it, because if I'm making customs, and I want to make top quality customs, I want to have good materials, and everyone's always like, oh yeah, this stuff is really expensive, and I'm like, well, um, I'm not just using, like, paint from Walmart. Like, it's expensive stuff, guys. Like, I'm very sure that I spent over $100, and I think there's maybe, like, 15 bottles of those tiny paints or something like that. Okay, maybe a, a few more, but, like, <laughs> and all I bought was paint. Love that. Um, so... <laughs> Because I can drive now. Woohoo! Well, I've been able to drive for like almost a year. But anyway, since I could drive <laughs> um, on my way home from school, which was a super long day, <laughs> I stopped at Michael's because there's no Michael's near me right now since my, my Michael's was in AC Moore. And then it decided to close it and they were going to reopen it. But then before they could reopen it, COVID happened and they were like, oh, we'll just wait. So for like the past year, year now actually a little bit more than a year i have not had a craft store within like a 20 minute drive which isn't that bad but like it's really annoying when i just need like one thing and it's like oh gotta go drive waste my gas money woohoo so i was driving by and i was like oh i'm gonna stop here so of course i got i this is a brand of paint i use it's uh liquitex acrylic and this is pretty thick, like, you, it's a heavy body acrylic, so you have to be careful, like, to not glob it on. Like, it's kind of, you have to make sure you're using it to make sure you get, like, a smooth consistency and smooth texture on the horse, because it's really easily, you will really easily glob up, and then you'll have, like, random blobs on your horse, which is not fun. And then I got raw umber. I have a bottle of raw umber, but if something is very wrong with it and the texture is like, I don't even know. It's like a, it's like a sauce. Like it's not like, like your texture is supposed to be like ranch dressing a little bit, I guess, or the fluidity of it, but it's like gunky and like clunky. It's not right. So I don't know what happened to that, but I was like, I need another one. And then I'm almost out of black. So I had to get more of my Mars black. And then I got a few white paint markers because I'm trying to sign my art since I guess that makes sense. Like if someone along the line doesn't know who made their horse, I want people to know it's my stuff. So I got a white marker from Faber Casa. I don't know. I'm not saying that. Um, and it's just a white pen thing that will show up on a horse's tummy and then I got these two white paint markers I want to try them for markings or something to see if they work um just to try out some stuff because I don't know you know I why not and then I got some paint brushes I love using like square ones I don't know like the rectangular ones and I literally need to take care better care of my brushes because they sometimes die quickly it depends um or sometimes I'll mess something up and like use a brush that I shouldn't use for like epoxy like going over epoxy and then it gets all hard and gross and then I have to throw it out and I'm like oh I love that brush but now I can't use it anymore that's fun and then I got more of these because for some reason I lost the top one um for tag making and stuff I don't the um, I think it's the chain nose pliers yeah I lost those but I had the other two so I was just like 
that's unfortunate because you can't buy or it's like more expensive to just buy the in, them individually so i was like well i'll just get new ones i guess whatever so that was my fun michael's haul it wasn't a very huge haul but i needed the stuff so and i also had a five dollar voucher that was expiring on the 16th so i was like oh gotta use that all right next up on our agenda i have this lovely package from Creekside Tack Shop and this was someone who ordered a custom for me and they were like I want to send you some tack and I was like oh you really don't have to but okay if you would like to sure so they sent me some tack and now we will open it scissors are obtained I don't know why I have kitchen shears in my room but I do and we will use them okie dokie oh my god there's so much in here holy moly Wow, there's so many blankets. This one's so cute. It has pineapples on it. I love that. So adorable. And, wow, lots of, I love this shiny confetti, but it's getting all over me. Oh, I love this fabric. They sent me a picture of this one, and the fabric is so pretty. And the buckles are all handmade. This person, I think, is 12 years old, which blows my mind, you guys, because when I was 12, my blankets and tack looked like not good at all. And like, I see you guys making this stuff and it's just incredible. Like age is just a number. Don't let the haters say you can't do it. Love this. Very beautiful. There are so many blankets in here. I did not know there were, oh my God, Mark and Betty. Uh, this one has anchors on it. It's so pretty. I love, my mom loves anchors, so. She'll like that one a lot. Oh, this is such a pretty fabric. I love that so much. Ooh, this one has cherries. Cherries. I'm just gonna, um, oh my God, confetti! Oh, look at me. Beautiful. I'm gonna need a vacuum this now, but it's okay. So some halters, very beautiful. Love that color. Love the little horse heads. Ooh, a rope halter. I love rope halters. They're actually adorable. I need to make a tutorial on how to do those with the braided nose band. Imagine a person wearing a rope halter. Wait a minute, that'd be really weird. Um, oh, this is like a little, um, I think dog collar. That's super cute. Ooh, wow, they have such a professional business card. Love it. Love it. Creekside Tack Shop, super cute. Thank you guys so much for sending me these things. It's really warming my heart and making me so, so happy. That tack is beautiful. All right, now let's get crafting. Okie dokie. So this is the commission that I cut off the horse's head last time. So I'm still working on that. And oh my God, my finger's bleeding. Don't look at that if you don't like blood, sorry. Um, I need a band-aid. <laughs> So this is a collector custom that I'm currently working on. Oh, and I have to show you guys, I finished so many horses. Um, it's actually like, I need to slow down on like the just random horses that I'm making because I have so many for sale right now. Um, this horse I still haven't finished because I didn't know if I want to do white markings. I think I said that last video, but <laughs> that Shire Stallion has still not, um, been done or Clyde says down sorry I decapitated him and um I think his head is on the ground over there yeah um haven't had a chance because I've been at school <laughs> to fix him up um this is a commission that I started the white um and she's very obviously work in progress like you guys they they don't look good until they're done I feel like for the most part um yeah so <laughs> this is my fun workspace and I don't know about you guys, I need to, I kind of just, this is just how it works. Like, it's just the way that it happens. Like, everything just kind of accumulates and then it just, yeah. So I don't even know if I'm going to, like, attempt to clean things here, like, very much. I need to, like, organize a little bit because this is the color I always use for eyeballs when I mix it a little bit with white. So I'll kind of keep that in close proximity when I'm doing my eyeballs because I kind of 
need to do that. And then I have a bunch of acrylic paints over here, not for airbrush. And then I need to get like a stand that can I can organize a bunch of paints in because ugh. yeah. And then I have all these stupid little, well, not they're not stupid, but I have all these little horses over here. So when I have extra paint, I will use it to paint them. But I have not done that in a while. So a little problematic. But um, yeah, I need to clean this up. Too much. I can't. Well, I was doing a bunch of hoes and stuff. At like, one time, I was like doing a bunch of customs all at once. I was like, all right, all of you, you need hooves. All of you, you need eyeballs. And that was basically what was going on for a little. Oh my god. For a little while. <laughs> um, and then I have all these airbrush paints, which are all new. You can kind of see the difference between the other ones. Because the other ones have like airbrush paint and guck all over them. Um, yeah, my water needs to be closer. We have our green solo cup. I always fill you up with water. Okay, and <laughs> dying customs over here. I have a box of bodies. I was like, well, I'm doing a commission that has re-sculpting, so I will keep them out just in case I have extra epoxy, which I like always do. How did my paper towels get over there? Such a mess, you know, this is such a mess. Also my anatomy book, woohoo, love that. Put that over by my sculpting stuff because I don't need that unless I'm sculpting. These needle files are literally the best for when you're trying to get a horse ready or like they have like, um, like ready to paint and they have like a paint glob on them or something from your primer. Oh my God, super helpful. Okay. This I can put over here. What a disaster. Um, these are like random references that I use for ideas for markings and things. Which I will put over there. Can my finger like stop bleeding please? Okay, and now brushes. Brush. Why do I have a freaking chopstick in here? Oh, I think that was the mix my tea sometimes i'm a big tea drinker i don't know about you guys but tea is my fave drink to drink not a coffee gal used to be a coffee gal no longer a coffee gal well my airbrush needs to go here oh my goodness all right airbrushy brush oh i should totally do an airbrush video to tell you guys how i like my airbrush now and tips, because I actually understand how to use it, I think, sort of. <laughs> um, okay, this is an upcoming commission horse. Someone has ordered this horsey already. And it's the same person. It is Model Horse Queen. Love that username. So this is the brown horse that they ordered. And then this one is going to be a black and white paint. The I don't know. Um, yeah. Okay, this is for customization. Don't need that right now. Black paint. Don't need that right now. Um, also, I got these. I feel really bad about this because the environment and everything. But I got these containers because I can just throw them out after I use them. Because these pl reusable plastic containers are a pain in the butt to clean out. Um, although these are super duper useful. Love those um, for paints. But... These are just too big for the amount of paint that I use and mix for one horse. And then I have to clean them out and they are so annoying. They have to soak for like three days. And it's, ugh. All right, my dirty paint tray. Mm -hmm. Here, I'm not sculpting anymore. I don't need silicone tools. This is garbage. Where's my garbage cans? Too far away. Okay, that just totally landed on the floor. Um, well, that. Oh my god, my paint always dries. I use this to like cut holes and not cut holes, but like poke a hole in the top of the paint. Because <laughs> occasionally, you know, like you forget and you leave the cap open and it happens a little bit more often than it should be happening. But I'm not gonna talk about that tonight. Why do I have pastel brushes over here? I'm so disorganized right now. Okay. Brush, brush, these. This is my epoxy brush. These two I'll keep here because I'm going to use them literally 30 seconds. 
references I just used. I don't want to remake them because I just painted them like that. This, I think we can say, is a little bit done. Past due. <laughs> okay, more references. Always keep a handy Q tip just in case I screw something up. And, okay. I think we're almost ready to start painting. Wow. That only took 30 years. Okay. So do we? I need to paint this guy. What color were you? Oh my god, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> yeah, that was wonderful. Okay. This guy was brown. He's brown. brown. I think I painted him this color, yes. Okay. And what brush shall we use? I may pick from. Let's use this one. Little flat boy. Okie dokie. Yep, just gonna ignore that my finger is bleeding all over the place. And yeah. Just gonna paint this boy. For some reason there's like these random spots right here. Don't know how that happened. Um okay. So cover up I feel like this this color I think is raw umber or no burnt umber burnt umber I think right yeah and it was such a pain in the butt it's it takes so many more layers than other colors like white takes a lot of lot of layers but this color also takes a lot of layers like I find <laughs> Right, roses thank you guys so much for joining me for this awesome crafting video i really hope you guys enjoyed as always commissions are open and i have so many custom models right now that are available that you should go look at and don't forget to stay sweet Mwah.